So I'm here with Kevin La Rosa. She, he's a cinematogra cinematographer from uh, Maverick, the, the movie, which is a, a box, box office uh, success. Uh, and uh, uh, I watched the movie not so long ago, and I was amazed by the work uh, the, the, all the crew and, and Kevin did with this, this movie visually. So Kevin, thank you so much for, for doing this with the Brazilian audience. And uh, so how was to, to, to work with in, in this movie, which is so challenging to, to, to shoot? Oh, wow. Well, first off, thank you for having me here. I'm honored. Uh, and, uh, and also I wanted to say, uh, I'm not a cinematographer, actually. I'm a pilot. I'm a camera pilot. I fly the cinematographers on board my aircraft, which is really fun for me. So I'm an aviator. Um, but back to your question, how was it to work on Top Gun Maverick? Uh, it's a dream come true. Uh, Top Gun Maverick, uh, we say, is a love letter to aviation, and that is a, the story of my life. I love aviation, and I love filmmaking, and I feel like Top Gun Maverick is probably the pinnacle, the best, the greatest aviation movie of all time, and I don't know how it'll ever be redone any better than it is. Uh, so to answer your question, it was the best. I, I can imagine how how amazing it was, and uh, and regarding the the for shooting uh, because you were you were the pilot and you had the 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 person with the camera uh, in the behind you was that that what, yeah, what happened? You're you're absolutely right. Well, so it depends. Uh, I flew three different camera aircraft on the movie. Yeah, uh, I flew a camera helicopter. So in the back seat, I'd have a camera operator. We call them aerial director of photographies because they're much more than just a camera operator they yes. work for claudio miranda who you know designs all the shots for the movie so they're extremely smart and they're really well versed on composing shots that's what makes all those aerial shots look so good and then my fun job is i get to put them in the right spot so i'm flying in formation with the f-18s or getting the helicopter very close to the action uh, so that's fun uh, but in the L-39, uh, those are ejection seats. So I'm in the forward ejection seat and behind me is the aerial DP or camera operator. And then we also used a Phenom 300. Um, and Phenoms are built uh, down there in South America. So it's a great jet that we use as a camera platform. Uh, and uh, we have two camera systems on that jet. So I have two camera operators in the back seat. Oh, two. Yeah. Yeah, amazing. Amazing. And and regarding the, the the lenses and the gear used to to to, to shoot, you you couldn't uh, replace or change during the, the the shooting, right? How was how tough was to do the, the uh, how to do that uh, in order to get all the shots and for IMAX, which is special for the big screen. Uh, it's very difficult. You know, Top Gun Maverick. Uh, you know, it was an incredible story we were going to tell. The movie is incredible, thanks to Tom Cruise and our and our leader Joe Kaczynski, our director. Um, but we had to use new technology to tell this incredible story. So we went to great lengths and great expense to build new camera systems and new gimbals uh, and put them on new aircraft that we didn't use before, like L thirty nines. L thirty nine is not a new aircraft, but to use it to fly a camera, that's new. Um, so it took a lot of testing, a lot of R&D. We had to learn about what we could do. We wanted to raise the bar in aerial photography. We wanted to create something that nobody had ever seen before. And in order to do that, you have to push limits and boundaries of cameras and equipment and people uh, to as far as you possibly can without compromising safety, right? But that was our goal on Maverick. Let's push the boundaries and, and film images and sequences that nobody's ever seen before. Fantastic. And, and no use of uh, CGI whatsoever, or how more, almost no, no, none use, right? For, for if, uh, VX, uh, special effects. Yeah, we're, we're very, very proud of the fact that Top Gun Maverick uses what we call minimal CGI enhancements for the aerial sequences. Uh, that movie, we had what I like to call Top Gun Maverick rules. Uh, one of the main rules on Maverick was everything had to be in lens. All the stunts had to be real. Um, we had to make sure that our actors were flying in those aircraft. We had to make sure that we were down low, uh, you know, and we had to make sure that everything was realistic and authentic as possible. So 
you know, we, we didn't have, uh, you know, missiles in the air and stuff like that. So that's CG enhancements, right? You know, we, there's certain aircraft that we didn't have access to, like an SU-57 uh, or a flyable F-14. But here's what's very, very cool about Top Gun Maverick. And this is a testament to Paramount um, and the expense that they went through to make it real is when you see those aircraft that I just mentioned, they may not be there because they're not flyable, but I guarantee you there's an F-18 behind that lens. And what we would use is this technology, this new technology to reskin those aircraft. So when you see that F, uh, SU-57 at F-14 fighting and dogfighting, there's a real aircraft there behind the lens. And it's most likely an F-18 reskinned. And, and you know what? The best part about that for us is when we watch this incredible movie, it looks very realistic because there's real assets flying in the air and it's just reskinned. So the textures are real. The light glints are real. The flight dynamics are real. The control surface movements are real. It's just that it's reskinned to be a different aircraft. Fantastic. And how was to, I, I, you probably hear the, that a, a lot uh, during the interviews for the, for the, uh, to promote the movie, but how, how was to work with Tom Cruise? He's famous for doing stunts and, uh, I don't know if he, he knows how to pilot, but it was fun. Absolutely, it was fun. Uh, Tom uh, is, uh, is one of those people that never seems to surprise you and impress you. Uh, you know, he's one of my favorite actors. He's an amazing professional actor uh, in which you probably don't realize, and maybe you do now because of this movie, is he's an incredible aviator and he loves aviation. Um, I find, and I think all of the colleagues that I get to work with on Top Gun Maverick is that Tom is very motivating. Um, and he's got so much experience with filmmaking and also aviation. And I think, uh, when Top Gun Maverick became a real thing, he went to work, uh, with Joe Kaczynski and the rest of our creative team to make sure that this movie was going to be incredible. Uh, and he led our team and he you know was always providing input and creative you know direction and we were very thankful for that because he's extremely smart he knows what he's doing um and he's not afraid to push the boundaries of filmmaking and that's what makes things look really good on screen fantastic and to to translate the the, the vision of the director and the cinematographer how tough is that and in order to they communicate with you and then you have the challenge to create the, the scenes? I love that question. Um, that's a really good question. So the movie looks and feels the way it does because of Joe Kaczynski. Joe Kaczynski is an incredible director and it looks and feels the way it does because of Claudio Miranda. That's the DP, director of photography. Those two gentlemen together are the reason the movie looks like it does. And to answer your question, my job and the camera operator's job or the aerial DP. In this case, we had two of them, David Knoll and uh, Michael Fitzmaurice. They're incredible camera operators. Our job is to listen to Joe and Claudio and they give us all of their creative input. And they say, guys, here's how we want this to look. Here's how the lighting needs to look. Here's how the energy needs to look. And we become an extension of them in the air. And that's really fun for us. We call it the art of camera movement in the air. And that's what we do. We take Joe's and Claudio's creative dreams, and we apply them to our flying in the air because we're an extension of them. We're helping make their movie and tell their story. So that's very fun for us. It's a good question. Fantastic. And you you own a company that works with aerial photography, right? And uh, how uh, how demanding is the, the, the industry is growing to, towards this kind of a, a business for you? I would say due to the success of Top Gun Maverick, I think that a lot of directors and production companies are going, you know what? That movie did really well. And yeah. maybe people like to see real flying and real stunts and maybe a little less CGI. I think that people are excited about real stunts and real flying because you know what? It looks cool. It looks really good because it is really good. And we get to show that on camera. So to answer your question, I have seen... Uh, an increase in demand uh, for real stunt flying, real practical flying. And I think it's due in large from the success of Top Gun Maverick and other studios and creative folks realizing that that, that works, that formula works. People want to see it. Fantastic. And uh, um, do you like photography? Do you shoot yourself? You, you like to, to shoot with your camera or a smartphone? 
Uh, so embarrassingly, the best camera I own is a smartphone and it's, these are pretty good, right? Like it's pretty awesome. Um, and the, and the best pictures I have are selfies of when I'm in the cockpit and an F-18 is next to me. But I, you know, as a camera pilot, uh, part of my job is to understand photography to an extent, you know, the professionals I fly, the aerial DPs, that's their expertise, Yeah. but I need to know enough to make their job easy and be an effective teammate and team member. So I have to understand the camera lenses. I have to understand the F stops and the lighting and backlighting and front lighting and cross lighting, a light glints, uh, and obviously camera movement in general to help tell the story. That's my job as an aerial coordinator and a camera pilot to have a thorough understanding of those things. Uh, in that way, when I'm flying my camera operators, they don't have to tell me very much. You know what I mean? When we're in a canyon chasing an F-18, we both know what we need to be doing. And I know where I need to put my aircraft to not hit the canyon or not hit the F-18, but also create a very cool shot. And he knows exactly what he needs to do. So we're, we're very much so a team. Uh, we understand what each other needs to do. And uh, it's a well-oiled machine, you know, in the aircraft. It's very fun. Yes. And the... Uh, the regarding the gear uh equipment now they they're get more sophisticated but there are some uh uh how can i say some challenges also for the, the equipments and the brands working with the that the, the the crew is working with so uh in order to choose the the right lens and the the cameras the, you you had to um think about the the technical aspects how 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 tough is was that for you guys It was very tough, you know, but it all starts with Claudio Miranda. Claudio designs which camera he wants to use on the movie for the look and feel of what we watch on the big screen. That then gets translated to my team uh, because they say, Kevin and Mike Fitzmaurice, we need you to fly the Sony Venice and we need to we need you to fly uh, Fuji lenses. So then we have to go, Okay, well, we're using a new jet with uh, this shot over camera gimbal and we need to fly this camera package for Claudio. And then it's our job to figure out how to make it work, uh, the logistics of it. And, you know, how is it going to fly on the jet and work on the jet? What modifications do we need to make to make this camera integrate into working in the camera gimbal and also with the jet or helicopter that we're flying? So to answer your question, it's difficult. But what makes it not difficult is the team. With anything in, in business, with anything in aviation, aerobatic teams, you name it, it's all about the people you work with. Uh, and I'm very fortunate to say that the technicians uh, and our partners that we work with are just incredible uh, of what they could make and design and the, and the problems that they solve. And it makes me just be able to stick to flying and what I love doing. And we put these big problems on them and they make solutions for us. So it's about the, it's about the right team. And we definitely had that. Fantastic. And, and you were, uh, as your previous experience, you, you were uh, from the military? Uh, before you were uh, you know i i wish i'm a civilian i'm very thankful for the men and women that serve in the armed forces especially the folks that i got to work with on top gun maverick but no i'm civilian uh and i'm very lucky that i get to work with the military and i work with a lot of uh foreign militaries too they hire us to work with them and film their aircraft uh but i uh i received some pretty extensive training in my career to work with military and fly with uh jets and Uh, and be able to integrate in that type of operation. And I think that helped me with Top Gun Maverick. Amazing. And uh, and the movies that you worked before, I saw that you worked with uh, The Avengers and some many other famous movies, right? Yeah, and I, I love that. You know, uh, due to my father, Kevin LaRosa Sr., who's a very well-known motion picture pilot, uh, we got to do a lot of really cool Marvel movies together. Everything from the Iron Man's Avengers, Captain America, Captain Marvel. Uh, we flew helicopters and did aerial sequences within those movies and Spider-Man. Those, those were very fun and just uh, and good movies to be a part of. Amazing. Uh, there, there, are, there are any trends for, for cinematography, uh, aerial cinematography? Because we see nowadays here in Brazil and I think worldwide drones uh, advancing a lot and being used a lot. Do you think drones will be the, the future or no? Absolutely. Drones are already the future. We, I own a, uh, a drone company that we do drone photography for the motion picture business. And I used to, I still do. I don't do it as much anymore. I got some much better pilots than me to fly them. But uh, we do a lot of drone photography. 
Um, I always say that drones are incredible and extremely useful. And it used to be where drones could do this much work and here was full size. And as technology increased, there became an overlap of what they can do. So there's a lot of things now drones can do that a helicopter can do, but not everything. Uh, and that's what I love doing when I'm hired as an aerial coordinator for a movie, the director and producers, they say, Kev, read the script and tell us what's the best camera platform for each sequence. And I do that and I say, okay, we need a camera jet right here. We need drone here. We need a helicopter here. It's nice to be able to cover all the platforms because I'm able to kind of tell them exactly which one I think is the right one. But we love drones. There's such a, uh, a use for them and you can get so technical and so intimate uh, into the action. That's pretty fun. Yeah. And what do you like most about uh, your work, the, the work you do? Uh, is the, the ability to fly or and, and to show in movies also or, or to work with the greatest people in the world? How, how is that? Hmm. Uh, you know, I think one of the most rewarding things for me is, is I'm an aviator. I love everything aviation, um, but I also love movies and I get to mix my two passions. I get to do aviation and filmmaking at the same time. That's pretty fun for me. The most rewarding thing for me is when somebody watches a movie or TV show or anything we've done and they go, you know what? There's no way that was real. That looked fake. That's the coolest compliment in the world, right? When we do something that looks so wild that people are like, there's no way that could have been real. That's very cool for us because that means we did it, right? We pushed the limits of creativity to the point where it almost didn't look believable. And that's very rewarding. That's fun. I, I remember uh, reading one, one of your interviews that you had the, this moment at the set that I think Tom Cruise was coming with the, all yeah. with the, the the clothes and from the movie and then we remember the movie from the from from the 80s and at that time people were saying that was that was amazing and then you raised the bar shooting those uh, and doing this this work how was the feeling to work in this movie about uh, top gun and this universe which is amazing well, we had to pinch ourselves every day and, and uh, it just didn't feel real. It felt surreal. You know, it didn't uh, like a dream. Um, and the thing you mentioned, it absolutely happened one morning. You know, we would do these uh, amazing briefs about two hours long every day. And then I walked out to the uh, to the F-18, Tom Cruise's uh, Maverick jet. Right. Yeah. And uh, out came this gentleman in full flight suit and helmet and came walking right past me to his jet and it, it was pete maverick mitchell and i remember just how good he looked and how focused and excited he was to get in his airplane uh and i just felt like i was living inside of the movie it looked so good so incredible and we were just all so excited as was he uh so that was that was pretty neat yes well, congratulations on, on all, all of you You do. Your work is amazing. And and I, I heard that uh, Tom Cruise is, uh, will be the first actor to go to the space. Uh, do you, would you go also there to try to uh, shoot something? I would go, I would go anywhere with Tom. Uh, are you kidding me? No, it's, I don't, I don't think I have much use in space. Uh, I'll leave that to the professionals, right? The astronauts. Uh, I think my world is spent in the uh, in the atmosphere here in Earth, where I can where I can fly. But uh, no, I'd go anywhere with him. He he's uh, he's always pushing the limits, and I like that. Yes. Do do, do you think will be a, there? There will be a, a sequel, uh, one more movie from the. Top I think Gun? we. You know, I think we all certainly hope that's the case. But we. Uh, I don't know anything about it if there is. Well, thank you so much, Kevin. It was great to talk to you. Congratulations on your amazing work. For, the, for doing this movie and all the aerial shooting and the piloting, it was fantastic. Thank you so much. No, thank you. And, and thank you to everybody who watched the movie. I'd like, you know, on behalf of the cast and our crew, our talented crew, I was only a small part of, we are excited that everyone else is excited. And it means the world to us to have people enjoying the movie and watching it again and again. Uh, that's the biggest... Uh, you know, thanks that we get. So thank you guys for, for uh, supporting it. Thank you. All right. Take care. Take care. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Leo.